What is on? Uh, what is on? <laughs> What's playing tonight? Here we are, back at the old number seven garage. Happy New Year to everybody. So to start out 2020, paint over this way, we're gonna start working on our 2016 lethal chassis. And what race we're gonna start car. with doing, what? Race. It's a race car. What we're gonna start out doing is, uh, we got a new camera gal over here. It's my wife, Kim, operating the camera now. So <laughs> I feel a little weird that I'm not holding it. I we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna start making these are decking pieces. Okay, these are the pieces that go on the decking of the car and We're gonna replace them. So I went through and cleaned out all of our scrap inventory of sheet metal and just piled it up here And we're gonna take all of the small pieces that we can make uh, Without having to cut up a large piece of sheet metal All right, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for watching me All right, all the subscribers all the likes on the videos the comments. I hope we're really helping people out with what we're doing all right, so like I said, we're gonna start on the decking and tag along with us and watch how we do it. A perfect instance of using what you got, right? B, that's right. <laughs> don't, want to throw it away. don't want to throw it away. So, you see, I mean, we about use this piece up, but hey, there's just enough to get us just a small piece on there, and we ain't got to cut up them real nice big old sheets of aluminum. So, we're gonna mark that out, and that'll be almost all the small pieces we got. We got what we got this one here left, and that's it, or this. You got that one, a couple more over here, and we're about, this is all of our big stuff, but, so we got this, we got this windshield piece, and then there's a little filler panel right in front of the driver, and that's pretty much, there's a couple over there, but we're about done with the small stuff. The big stuff goes way faster. <laughs> You'd be knocking them out before you know it. All right, so hopefully you guys like what you're seeing so far. Let's get back in. All right, we'll give you a little tip here. When we're building our body panels, so we got this this piece here we were building, cut out for a, a bar, you know? So we just like to take our hole saw, set it on there, mark center, just like we did here. Then we'll take a billet, you'll have that, you'll have a perfect notch for your bar. And then you know, you just cut it to fit, but your circle will be there. You don't have to worry about getting it with that daggum sheet metal 
Cheers, it, uh, it works real nice. All right, guys, so now you see how we kind of make our decking. We got most of the small stuff done, but we're gonna have to catch the rest of this tomorrow. <laughs> Doing some fine tuning. Looking. Just looking. What are we looking at? Seeing how you like that? It's looking okay to me. What about you? Yeah. Fit right in there. Like socks on a rooster, he said. I think that turned out pretty good. That's our first real big piece. Uh, the rest of them go what's your thoughts on that? You think we'll mess any up? What's that? I said, you think we'll mess any up? Nah. Are you joking me? <laughs> Have you been here before? Just a couple times. Uh, Who might mess one up? Hey, you got to... $70 a seat to try not to do. Right. You, yeah, you got to uh, measure once and cut twice. Right. Is that what? Or something like that. Some, well, we're gonna keep on keeping on boys. I think we're actually gonna have to bust out Some new sheet metal. We got six sheets here Six sheets. Oh, that's our bumper. We got six sheets. We're gonna have to bust out a new one to get some of this decking here goes All right guys, we got us early start as we could got home from work and made us a couple pieces of decking So that's gonna do it for tonight. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. What is up, y'all? All right, it is the next day, and we're gonna get back on that sheet metal project. Love the weather, Missouri for you. Let's get back at it, guys. Let's get that decking knocked out so we can get some racing going. What do you say? Let's go. Before we get started, I wanna run, a, run you through a few things here. Um, if you're thinking about maybe building your own bodies for your race car, I want to just run you through some basic tools that'll get you started. This is what I started out with whenever I started building bodies. Okay, so these basic tools will get you started. Now, something else you're definitely going to need is a sheet metal brake. So this is a six foot razor's brake from Mittler Brothers, Wright City, Missouri. Makes a great sheet metal brake and they're affordable. Okay, it's a 72 inch brake and um, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so your basic tools, you have a sheet metal brake and this right here. That's going to get you started. Um, if you want to get a little more involved, I'll show you what else I use. This is my extended collection. This is a tool that uh, the HVAC guys will know. It takes that material and shrinks it. When you need to these are some seamers they're three inches wide and they let you flatten material and also bend it what else we have hole saws if you've been watching the video you see how we can notch around the uh the tubing on that decking real easy and this little tool right here instead of using a sharpie this just has a really fine point if it would focus and um it, I just I scratch the material you'll see me doing that quite often to make my outlines for cutting light pressure Don't push too hard 
And this little thing here I picked up a couple of seasons ago. As you can see here, it actually, let me open it up here. It will actually go wider. You see it's got your measurement on here. And that little screw is where it's gonna put your scribe line on there. So you basically just set it just like this. You set it on the edge of your material and you would scratch a mark. Very handy tool. And my most favoriteest tool are these here. I believe it's a Bosch brand and it's just a, uh, it's a shear. What I like about it, when you cut a piece of uh, aluminum that we use on our bodies, it's just like a factory edge. Not sharp anywhere you touch it. Very, very nice edge with this. Not the best for cutting a really long section, but we do it anyway, right? We don't have all of the tools we need. Just another um, straight edge there. And this tool here makes life a lot easier whenever you're going to do what they call a hem around the wheel well on the, the modifieds, late models, street stock, all kinds of stuff. Um, it'll make a one inch, one eighth inch hem around the wheel well where it's not sharp, have any sharp edges or anything, around your pillar posts, all kinds of stuff. And I got an assortment of dies down there that I can do just regular bead rolls and all kinds of stuff with. And buried over here in the corner that you can't see, way over there, is a shrinker stretcher. And we use that a lot too. You'll see that if you guys stay tuned to the channel. Speaking of staying tuned to the channel, I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for coming by and checking out what we're doing. We started this off kind of as a, just a little fun thing to do. And uh, it's really helped a lot of people. Really I had a lot of people reach out to me. And uh, I, I'm really glad to help out guys. Yeah. I don't know a whole lot, um, just enough to get me in trouble, as my dad would say. So I want to thank you for stopping by. And I also want to encourage you to check out our Facebook page. You can find me at Tim Nash Racing on Facebook and also on Instagram. And we also have our own website where we will sell merch. And we'll also give you an update of our schedule. And that's Tim Nash Racing. Dot com. All right, without further ado, let's get back into building this body. just watched us sorry my voice is going up you just watched us build that piece right there so there it is is that a-ok -okay guaranteed perfect. he said it's perfect that's all i need that's all i need to know what we got three pieces left we're gonna reuse that one got three pieces left so we're gonna reuse this piece here it ain't really bad and it goes right through there then we got three pieces across the back let's get to it what are we waiting on so the reason we do what we do and we are who we are <laughs> so i measured this all out so i know how long it is it's not square but 59 and a half and 59 check this out that's how well actually it's going to be less than that we're not even going to lose any for scrap we're going to go up here a little bit and we'll have that whole thing for the next one well, that was by accident but we're gonna pretend like it was on purpose pretty cool all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for tonight we did uh get every single piece of this decking done uh we just got a couple pieces laying there but uh it's all done so we're gonna call that a wrap for this video we do appreciate you hanging out like i said make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel give the video a like just helps us out um and again Follow us on Tim Nash Racing on Facebook and Tim Nash Racing on Instagram. You got any questions? Pop them down below. All right. Again, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll catch you next time.